Hey, back again to new video. This is Sampath. You're watching Sampath Samfex YouTube channel. Xiaomi Mi 11. So the Poco F3, the Redmi K40, custom ROM reviews. Back with Sierra Android version 10.3. This is a beta fan edition. Android version. You can check out the 14 latest one. Security patch is March 5th, 2024, and baseband version. You can see kernel user is 4.18.306. Of plus kernel has been used. Build date is April 1st. Latest build available for Poco F3 or the Mi Linux or the Redmi K40. I really like in this particular ROM. The smoothness in the UI is really really good. And the good thing is this is a G apps build available. That's I really like it. I don't want to spend time to find the uh, G apps separately for a vanilla build. This is a G apps build. I really recommend the uh, maintainer or the developer who makes similar builds instead of making just vanilla build make two of the builds vanilla and gapps or else preferably gapps build it will be easy to everyone to flash this particular rom flashing method is given in the description you can check out this is typical home skin and app drawer and these are the apps currently i'm using these are the quick settings toggles you can see in the edit section there are other options also you guys can check out here this how it looks like it is smooth responsive really really good the ui is once you start using it you will be definitely knowing that and we'll see some uh, results what i got here straight away images screenshots yeah starting with this geekbench score 1135 is the single score and 3285 is the multi score links 4.19.306 puff plus kernel has been used under version 14 geekbench version 6.212 and coming back here this is the Android benchmark results. I'll go, I'll do one thing here into file manager. This one I will use. Yeah, this is fine. I can scroll between them. Anyhow, this is the Android benchmark results. What I got 7,84,582. Temperature raise was 2.5 degrees Celsius and 6% of battery has been dropped during this entire testing. And the version of Android is 10.2.4. And this is the read rate speed test with graphical interpretation. And this is numericals. And this is the uh, CTS profile match basic integrity. I mean the safety net attestation guys. This is Play Store is certified We're using payment applications is not a problem in this particular ROM even HDR 10 and level 1 certified using OTT application is also not a problem in this particular ROM and <laughs> I am really surprised my internet connection is up to 200 Mbps only it is showing 300 Mbps. It's really great and charging as slowly it shows gradually increases 4.2 to 8.4 14.8 19.7 and 23.6 wattage it's the highest what i've seen and temperature you can see around 34.5 degrees celsius and it is showing charging rapidly that's how it is more than that it is not showing it means it will support high charging that is turbo charging is available here but it's not exactly 33 that you need to keep in mind many of the roms will also show the same this is how it is the home screen customizations are very simple here if you go into wallpapers and customization in the change wallpapers you get some pre-installed CR drive wallpapers in the lock screen. Again, this effect is not coming here, anyhow. And these are the things you need to consider here. Themed icons are also given, and app grid up to uh, 16 to 10 is given. The home screen and UI is really, really smooth. Now, moving into settings here, we'll start with CR drive settings. Before that, we'll see this system settings into the gesture, gesture navigation mode. You get pill length and pill radius adjustment here. Some of the other options you can see here. Back gesture height and navigation in the IMS space are also given. If you want, you can revert back to two button, three button navigation here. Other settings remain same here. Backup system updates are given, but I recommend to flash through. Recorder will see CR drive settings, status bar icons, and clock style, clock date. Again, you get plenty of customization here. Network traffic indicator is also given. Uh, this is all the other things you get. As you can see, logo also you can keep it out. What I kept here, CR drive logo. You can position them you can change the logo from here battery style again you get plenty here let me make it a circle only yeah and battery bar once you enable that you get plenty of options again it will be visible here top end corner and we'll slide here quick settings again header image you can change here for example forest you can see now the header image has been changed here if I again change to nature, it will become like this. This is a cool thing that's available in the CR Droid and battery style. Again, you get plenty of customizations regarding this. I can see lock screen. If I slide again, lock screen customization, font style you can select only in the lock screen. This is and better information, weather settings you can update here. Tap to sleep, refill effect, and power menu is given. Navigation again, you get all the necessary actions here. 
buttons again you get some customizations user interface again you get plenty here ambient display again you can see here uh, full screen apps and screen of animation monitor settings you get plenty of customization here theme style you can select here ascent color you can customize notifications again you get island notifications also once you turn this on you get many of the notifications sound settings you get basic and user friendly settings here miscellaneous settings unlimited high fps count in games and photo storage is available about sea android these are the custom settings what you can get in the sea android guys and uh, digital well-being and parental controls has been given security and privacy you get both face unlock and fingerprint unlock let me show you the fingerprint unlock first followed by the face unlock you guys can see both are very much quick and fast and accurate here to unlock your smartphone using this particular rom guys all the personal style i already shown you accessibility menu which is a handy feature you should definitely try it out once you use this particular AOSP kind of roms without actually using the physical buttons of volume you can actually decrease increase the volume from here and display settings again you get plenty of customization here to dark theme once i enable that you also get the pure black condition currently it's not in pure black condition once you enable that it will be in the pure black condition which is really really good in this particular rom colors again kept vivid if you want you can make it saturated or boosted or any other option tap to wake tap to sleep both are working fine minimum maximum refresh rate kept to 120 here custom display settings don't use them it will drain the battery and heat the device sound and vibration again you get all the necessary options here me sound enhancer headphone type and preset and select scene and hi-fi system audio system is given in the particular room other things you can customize them and haptic and vib vibration you get to patterns and strength also you can adjust from here battery settings and battery usage you can see here it's quite good battery life is really really good i can say and Charging control, battery saver, extreme battery saver is not given. You can limit up to 90%. Battery optimization is also given. You can see the temperature and stats from here. This all the customization and actual settings and this app drawer and these all the things. Very much smooth response. You should definitely try it out as a daily load. We'll see the BGMA, what all the graphics settings and how it handles in this. Um, you guys can see graphic settings set to smooth plus extreme plus here i mean 90 fps that's there here and there's the volume panel and what i noticed is the volume is a little bit lower here in this particular room you need to keep max here with respect to 90 per fps here it's gameplay smoother even in counter attacks. Let's try that. At least I able to get killed here. It is a little bit difficult here. Yeah, there is no problem in the counter attacks. Let me decrease the volume. Yeah. Yeah, we'll come back here the gaming experience was really good here and overall experience is also really really good you should definitely use it as a daily driver case yesterday i also made evolution x video it's also really good nowadays the uh, the roms for poco f3 the me learners are getting better and better you also get hyper os builds and me builds also which you can check out in my channel if you're still not joined the whatsapp group you can join the whatsapp group for this separate device the me 11x there is a group link in the description and if you want to follow me on the social media those links are also given in the social media sorry in the description and if you want to subscribe this channel still not subscribe go and head and subscribe this channel guys and if you want to see similar kind of videos subscribe the channel and download that bell icon whenever i upload a new video you'll get notified and if you like the video give it a like we'll be with another interesting video guys until that keeps smelling bye for now